Hey. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? Get up. We're gonna throw a refrigerator off the roof. <laughs> cool. What kind? Kelvinator. <laughs> we filled it with ping pong balls this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Darma, why is Jane in our bed? Because you told me not to call after midnight. <laughs> Come on, Darma. The countdown's already started. <laughs> I gotta get sleep. I gotta get up early and go to this country club charity thing and get my hair done. What's the matter with the way your hair is now? <laughs> Good night, Jane. I'll see you in the morning. What's the matter with you? I don't even know you anymore. Good. Then stop climbing into bed with us. <laughs> Oh, good watchdog, Stinky. Say goodnight to the nice burglar. I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. Good night. Good night. I'm getting dressed here. That's okay. Listen, do you know if anybody wants that refrigerator in the sidewalk? I think it's a Kelvinator. <laughs> Darma, your parents are here? You know, it's good that you wear boxer shorts if you want to have kids. It keeps your testicles at the right temperature. <laughs> Darma, Darma. Come on. Craig's not comfortable being undressed in front of you guys yet. No, no yet. Uh, ever. Greg has very pretty legs for a man. I seem prettier. <laughs> One time in the shower, he let me put nair on them. Uh -huh. <laughs> His hair grew in so soft. <laughs> hey, listen, we're driving to Davis to see a free concert in the park. Do you want to come? Our Garfunkel's opening up for the two guys from Manhattan Transfer. <laughs> that sounds so fun, but I can't. Greg and I are going to the country club for a charity fundraiser. Oh. Well, what charity? Well, we're going to raise money to help teach underprivileged kids stuff. <laughs> That's cool. What stuff? Well, mostly to, um, yacht. <laughs> yacht. <laughs> You're teaching poor kids how to yacht? No, 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 no. We're going to uh, have brunch and watch a fashion show. Someone else will teach him to yacht. Are you hearing this, Abby? She's one of them now. Had her champagne brunch. Eating caviar off the sweaty buckled backs of the working man. The caviar is served on toast points. No daughter of mine should know that. Abby? Well, I don't want to judge, Dharma, but you know, it does seem you're kind of drifting away from your values. I mean, I can't count how many times I've stood naked under the full moon with the other mothers and daughters making up excuses for why you're not there. I've been busy. Oh, you've been busy? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Doing what? Greg's teaching me golf. <laughs> Let's go home, Abby. I have to lie down. We'll go to the Art Garfunkel concert, honey. There'll be plenty of room to lie down there. <laughs> I carry my own clubs. <laughs> I was just talking to Posey Carpenter. Oh, is she the one with that big hat and the dog in her purse? Big teeth and dog in her purse. Oh. <laughs> anyway, she thinks you are just a hoot and a half, and she wants you to join the Young Wives Committee. Why, are they a hoot and a half short? <laughs> Isn't this wonderful news? That means you're part of the inner circle. Yeah, I guess. But tell me, is something wrong? Kitty, have I changed? 
Oh, my dear, in every way. <laughs> you are no longer crude and unsophisticated. You are finally becoming an elegant and refined young lady. I'm still a little crude. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bite me. <laughs> <laughs> There's that rascal Posey Carpenter loves. <laughs> Little yachters are going to sing us a sea chanty. I have not changed. Just because I'm at a country club, wearing a suit that costs more than my first car. Oh, God. God's a little busy. Can I help? George? Oh, good. You remember me. Of course I remember. George, you're dead. Yep. Your grandma says hi. My grandmother's not dead. Oh, but then some old woman says hi. Wow. This is incredible. I mean, I always believed there was life after death. George, you have a reflection. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> George, why are you here? I came to send you on a vision quest. I'm going on a vision quest? Yes, you must go to the big trees and save the young one. What big trees? What young one? That's up to you. I must go now. Wait, 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 George. Have I changed? I don't know, but you might have mentioned that you moved. I scared the hell out of some skinny guy in the shower. <laughs> Good luck. Dama? Dama, are you all right? Everybody's asking for you. Oh, yeah, no, uh, sorry. I was talking to a dead Indian. <laughs> oh, well, that's a colorful turn of phrase, dear, but it's more polite to say you're powdering your nose. <laughs> Maybe it was just somebody who looked like George. Honey, I have strayed from my true self, and a dead friend crossed over to send me on a vision quest to guide me back to the wellspring of my essence. What part of that is so hard to understand? Everything after honey. Okay, for argument's sake, let's say you had a powwow with a dead Indian. Oh, powwow is offensive. How? Oh. How is offensive? <laughs> Okay, what does it mean to, to go to the big trees and save the young one? Okay, big trees is the redwoods where I used to go camping when I was a young one, get it? Sure, no, Dharma, I don't understand any of this. I have to rediscover myself. Since I've married you, I have become a different person. Oh, I mean, in what way? <laughs> I sleep indoors every night. I have a learner's permit, and some beaver tooth woman with a shih tzu in her purse thinks I'm a hoot. Wait a minute, learner's permit? You've been driving without a license? You try getting a driver's license with a hand-painted watercolor birth certificate. <laughs> Dharma, we, we, we both changed. That's, that's what a relationship's all about. Oh, come on, how have you changed? I live in a renovated battery factory. I eat seaweed as a snack. I, I, I have Birkenstocks. Which you never wear. Because you won't let me wear socks with them. All I said is that I couldn't bring myself to sleep with you if you did. Um, hold on, hold on. If, you, if you have to go on a, a vision quest, can, can you at least wait till next week? I'll take Monday off. We'll make a long weekend of it. Maybe drive back through the wine country. <laughs> No, Greg, I have to go now, and I don't think I could do this with you. Why? Because. Because I'm part of the problem? Come here, listen, come in. I'm not worried about us. Okay, I'm worried about me. The me that's not us. Not that there's a me that doesn't want an us, it's just that there'd be a better us if I knew who me was. Well, I can't argue with that. But at least don't go alone. Take Jane. I mean, you were you with Jane before you were me with Jane. I mean, you were you with me, us. Take Jane. Okay, I'll ask her. And um, take the cell phone. 
Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Uh, Jane has a license, right? Oh, no, she doesn't need a license. She's got some guy's police badge. <laughs> hey, I was just looking for you. Do you want to go on a vision quest? I don't think so. Because I have to wake up early to get my butt buff for the Country Club Shiny Hiney contest. Fine, I deserve that. Now, are you gonna keep snarking or do you wanna go with me to the Redwoods? Keep snarking. Fine, you suck. You suck more. Your shoes are ugly. You gave them to me. Because they're ugly. I'm done. Me too. Can I drive? Sure. Do you need to pack? Give me a sec. Ready? <laughs> Hey, man, you can't worry your back. What do you know about it? I'm living it, pal. You know Cheryl. She's off finding herself. Pete, she went back to her husband. <laughs> She's just wrapping things up. She'll be back. Believe me, Greg, another 10 years and you'll be praying for a dead Indian to tell her to take a hike. <laughs> I'm gonna try Dharma on the cell phone again. Greg. <laughs> Instead of calling her, why don't you go get her? George. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing here? Laundry. <laughs> when you're dead, you only get the clothes you're buried in. <laughs> you're dead. You're Definitely dead. I was there. You, 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 you can't be here. Calm down, Greg. This is only a dream. <laughs> of course it is, which is what Dharma had. No, I visited Dharma when she was awake. That's a little out of your league. <laughs> Listen, you have to go find her. Is she all right? As far as I know, but you better get going. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll leave right now. Greg, wait. You gotta wake up first. How? I mean, in what way should I do that? Don't worry, I'll wake you up. Just go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like Lyle and Eric got sunburned. <laughs> That was Greg's idea, because they're a couple of killers. <laughs> pretty funny for Greg. No, Greg's a pretty funny guy. Must be when you're alone. <laughs> wow. Never thought you'd get married. Huh, me neither. I thought I'd work at Tom McCann or... <laughs> Maybe join the Navy. The Navy? Yeah, well, I was six. I had a totally different idea of what a Navy SEAL was. <laughs> I wanted to be a washing machine. Really? Or mashed potatoes. <laughs> Don't give up your dream. Uh, it's all about who you know. Why'd you change your name when you got married? Well, I never really cared that much about names, and it was really important to Greg. You know, when I was little, Abby and Larry let me name myself. 
<laughs> That's so cool. I know. For the first year, my name was La 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 La. la. <laughs> and then when I turned two, I changed it to No. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry to bother you guys, but I was hiking and lost the trail. Do you know the way back to the road? Yeah, it's right up there. Thank you. But if you want to, you can uh, stick around and have a marshmallow or something. I am kind of hungry, thanks. I'm Dharma, and this is Jane. It's nice to meet you. I'm Juan. Wait a second. How old are you, Juan? 18. Are you sure the Indian said, young one? <laughs> first vision, huh? It wasn't a vision, it was a dream. I remember my first vision. This guy was playing golf on the moon. <laughs> That was real, Larry. I know. It was so real. <laughs> you have a license, don't you, Larry? Are you crazy? Tab magnetic strip is like Lojack. They can track you anywhere. You know, we're not that far out of town. We could go back and you could watch the dogs while Abby helps me find the campground. Uh, Abby can't find her way through the woods without a compass or a flashlight or a map. Wait a minute. You didn't bring a compass, a flashlight, or a map? It's all right here. <laughs> Except the flashlight. Home on the range. The deer and the cantaloupe play. Home. Hey. Hi. Where's young one? Kept calling me Strawberry Spice, so I kicked his tight little butt all the way back to the road. <laughs> How's the vision quest hanging? I don't know. Jane, I'm feeling like I maybe never even saw George at all. Like, I just imagined the whole thing. No. This isn't like the Grateful Dead concert. Huh? Remember we ate your father's cream and mushroom soup and Thomas Edison let us pet his dragon? <laughs> uh, come on, let's just go to bed. We'll roll out of here in the morning. Okay. Guess if you're sent here by a dead Indian, no point in telling ghost stories, huh? <laughs> and it scared the crap out of me. That's exactly what happened with Juan. <laughs> Hi. Hi. He likes you. Maybe he's hungry. Here, give him this. Oh, Jane, he's a wild animal. He's not going to eat a fine sh... Oh, he likes it. <laughs> Keep an eye on Lyle and Eric there. He looks like he thinks you're his mother. He does, do This is the young one. Wow, your young one has a hairy back, too. <laughs> this is what I was sent here to learn, Jane. I saved him, and he sees me as his mother. Abby and Larry see me as their little flower child. Kitty sees me as a big blonde lump of clay. <laughs> but that's just how they see me. That's not who I am. You got all that from feeding a Hershey bar to Boo Boo? Just think about it, Jane. I'm not any of those things, or I'm all of them, but I can't have an identity crisis because I just am who I am, which always changes and therefore never changes. When's the last time you ate something? <laughs> oh, you're a sweet little guy. Look at that. What happened to your real mommy? <laughs> Oh, that answers that question. <laughs> oh, I can't go anymore. Larry, oh. you can't stop. Birkenstocks can't run. You go. I'll slow him down. How? Uh, uh, I'll try to be chewy. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It sounded like a couple of Girl Scouts crying. <laughs> Thank God, we found you. What are you guys doing here? Bear, bear. I know, isn't he cute? 
you? No, bigger bear. <laughs> we, we, gotta, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. Well, what about him? Oh. There's your mommy. There's your mommy. Don't tell her about the candy. <laughs> Getting these things up like this big, long lump of clay. Larry, go. And the irony of it all is that I thought you were part of the problem when you were the only one who accepts me for who I am. Yeah, 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 for who you are. Larry, what's wrong with the van? I don't know. Well, there's a bear. Outside. I don't think that's it. I think it's the starter. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get out and give us a push. I vote for Greg. Me too. <laughs> wait, 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 I have a better idea. Dharma, what are you doing? Maybe if we get her mad, she'll give us a push. <laughs> No, that was the young one, not the young one. Although I probably should have saved him from Jane. <laughs> oh, great, wake up! <laughs> <laughs>